let's start with um, our alkanes. How about we start with those alkanes? Um, alkanes can undergo substitution. And so haloalkanes, which we talked just a little bit about, but they're actually kind of useful for us. When we get the substitution, we can make a haloalkane, which can then undergo more substitution. So if we have a compound that we're like, yeah, it doesn't really have the stuff on it that we want, we can keep making changes via substitution. Then we've got our alkenes. And the big one for us to know about that one is addition, which is going to break down those double bonds. And sometimes that addition leads to addition polymerization. What's the difference between the two? The polymerization just keeps going. That's what I'm going to say about it keeps going. Um, the addition just in general is going to be like add one compound to the general thing. Um, then we have alcohols. And then the alcohols, they can, we need to know the type. They can either be primary secondary, or tertiary. And um, primary can be oxidized first to produce um, an aldehyde, which can then be further oxidized to to become a carboxylic acid. And then secondary is only going to become a ketone when it's oxidized. And tertiary is not going to be oxidized. I'm trying to think uh, one other thing thing that we talked about was that all of these undergo combustion. And some of them we can continue on. So I'm going to get a different color here and say, well, if we've done a substitution from like a halo alkane, we could have substituted with an OH, which means now we could go all the way down here to these alcohol things. And depending on where we did the substitution, we could get all the way to a carboxylic acid if we needed to. Um, alkenes, same sort of thing. If I added water, or HOH is another way of thinking of it, I'd end up with an alcohol again, which could then go through all of those changes depending on if it's primary, secondary, or tertiary.